Changes to political funding rules are being proposed as a way to level the playing field between candidates from different parties. Historically, the KMT has the most money to spend on elections, but the new rules would place caps on the funds that a party can splash on its candidates. That is, 25 million NT on a presidential candidate and 2 million NT on a legislator. In the 2016 presidential election, Eric Ju and Jennifer Wang were bankrolled to the tune of 200 million NT by their party, the KMT. Meanwhile, Tsai Ing-wen and Chen Jianren only got 6 million NT from the DPP. Out of suspicion that such a gulf in spending power could distort elections, the Internal Administration Committee has put forth proposed changes to the Political Donations Act. It would place a cap on the funds that parties can give their candidates. At every election, the KMT sells some party assets and then gives money to all its legislative candidates. A candidate may get a couple million, but that's pennies compared to the tens of millions that some candidates may get. The KMT can barely pay its staff their wages at the moment. Where is it going to find all this funding to give its candidates? The KMT says it's skint, but DPP candidates are used to relying on themselves. When Wu Siyao ran for the constituency of Ding Shou Zhong in 2016, she got no funds from the DPP, while Ding received 5.2 million NT from the KMT. I barely receive anything from the party. Actually, when you hold public office as a DPP member, you have to contribute a very high sum of money to the party every year, which is very different to how the KMT do things. The revisions to the Political Donations Act could be in place before next year's local elections if they pass the legislature before next March.